Hey guys, press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update from Pink Villa. Hi, this is Neeta Lula and I'm going to speak to you today about the most happening events of the season, which is summer and destination weddings. I think today everybody is looking at a different concept for a wedding. Somebody wants to go to an exotic island, somebody wants to have a different exotic destination. So let's see what we can do with your clothes for the season. I think summer destination weddings are uh, the most beautiful weddings because um, you get to have a wedding at an exotic island, an exotic beach resort. And I think it's beautiful because uh, you know you can be yourself. You can you can dress down, but style and scale up your style quotient and uh, have a wedding where all your intimate friends and family are there, but very chilled out, very relaxed, and uh, feeling good, feeling uh, happy. There's a lot of florals in the air. There is a lot of magic with uh, beautiful. Um, stuff that you can do for summer and I think it's it's uh, um, a fantastic time for a wedding. I think the millennial bride is uh, very adventurous. She knows her mind, she knows how she wants to look, what she wants to wear. I think she goes in for a lot of uh, um, referencing, inspirations and uh, then selects what she thinks she can be comfortable in and likes to uh, wear her attire. I think the most important and the biggest bane of our lives today at destination weddings is excess baggage. And uh, uh, to be able to combat that, uh, if you are attending a destination wedding, uh, go in for classic uh, um, accessories that you could carry with every outfit that you wear. Style your wardrobe very carefully so that you do not you do not overlap. Things like carrying an outfit embellished in gold or an outfit embellished in silver and you're thinking, do I have to carry a gold, a gold pair of shoes and a silver pair of shoes? No, you can carry a nude and, and get away with it. Most importantly, I think uh, uh, when you're carrying accessories, especially shoes, they need to be very comfortable because you do not know where the wedding event is and uh, what is the kind of terrain you're going to be walking on. Uh, secondly, the kind of garments that you carry should be more uh, constricting, something that's form-fitting, something that's stylized and less of can-cans and less of weight, less of embroidery, more of styling and pretty colors that you could dress up with the kind of floral accessories or jewelry that you could carry. Well, most importantly, the bride has to select her jewelry on the basis of what really looks good on her neck what she likes to wear in terms of the earrings, whether they're small or big, um, the kind of budget that has been allotted for her jewelry and uh, something that uh, she will wear instead of keeping it in the cupboard because it's not been selected by you, it's selected by your relatives or uh, people around you. So I think it's very important that you have a point of view on that jewelry piece that uh, will come of use and will be in your wardrobe for posterity. I think in terms of accessories, um, comfort is the most important thing that you need to look for. Um, a very well fitted, comfortable shoe that can go with all your clothes, which is a classic cut. I would, I would say uh, nude is a color that you must have in your wardrobe, whether you have that gold or silver or not. A nude, a black, a tan and a gold and silver is something that you must have in your wardrobe. Uh, peep toes, uh, straps comfortable straps, heels that you can wear comfortably. Please try those shoes, walk around in it, feel it and then pick up your shoes. Well, day functions are uh, definitely near the pool most of the time. So the groom for sure will wear shorts and a, and a nice shirt which is comfortable, cool, vibrant. But the bride can go in for a series of styles, especially something that, um, like I make a lot of gowns which have got details, a lot of frills, a lot of ruffles, a lot of texturing and uh, are teamed with a bodysuit which is almost like that, like a swimsuit which you can easily take off that skirt and jump into the pool whenever you want and that's the stylish swimming costume that you would wear for your wedding um, function which is at the poolside, which will be embellished, which will be styled and it will be something that 
is only meal custom made for you. All you millennial brides out there, I'm going to take you through and walk you through the kind of clothes that you can wear for a destination wedding. So let's go. So let's see what we have here for a destination wedding. Uh, considering that a lot of pinks and vintage colors are in fashion right now, especially this summer, I think uh, creating that vintage aura about yourself and about the ambiance is, will work very well for this season. I think if you're working on your Sangeet and uh, you want to have something that is very breezy, very light and very airy and something that looks very, very um, comfortable and moves with you when you kind of move or dance, this outfit which is very lightweight at the same time it's got the right kind of embroidery and embellishment on the top and when you're seated it'll have a beautiful detail of the tearing that you see at the bottom of the skirt so i think this works very aptly for uh, uh, mandy and this is the one where you can wear uh, a lot of floral jewelry like mogras or even vintage uh, roses in contrast colors of lemon yellows or um, tea, tea rose pinks Woodrow's peach is the color to go for or a light silver gray. Work with net and it's a multi-textured look. A vintage pink one shoulder gown with uh, um, a shoulder which has an emphasis of ruffles. I think something that's bling, beautiful and sensuous with a touch of color which is a gown like this, which you can be comfortable and it's absolutely lightweight. This you can dress up with a lot of Diamante jewelry. Just earrings will also work beautifully with you. And um, this will create a very nice vintage 1920s to 1940s kind of a look with the right hairstyle and the right uh, accessories that you embellish it with. Wardrobe staples for an urban bride, a gold blouse, a beautiful gold nude or ivory shirt that can be teamed with saris, with langas, um, a well-fitted uh, um, top which, uh, which is embroidered on, on a nude base that can go again with various uh, ensembles like skirts and, ja and jackets and pants. Um, I think a gold and silver blouse which will go with everything is most important. Um, another wardrobe sta staple is is uh, the little black dress though that's not something that you can put in your trousseau but you can work with for various occasions uh, that you um, attend maybe if it's like a welcome dinner or it's a, um, it's a youngsters night where you have a fantastic black dress which could be dressed up and down. So from here onwards let me take you to the most important dress of your entire events and that's your wedding. Okay, so let's talk about weddings. Let's talk about most awaited event of your life. That's your wedding and if it is a destination wedding, colors this season are a lot of pinks, a lot of vintage rose pinks, a lot of wood rose peaches, ivories, golds. In the bright zones, you have a tea rose pink, which is very, very stylish and which is the color of the season today. Teamed with a hot pink, I think it's going to be weighing a ton though for me right now, but yeah, something like this, which is a tea rose pink with silver and a touch of gold. So you are not constricted on what kind of jewelry to carry for your wedding. You are not constricted whether you're wearing this for a day event or a night. And the cut, the sheerness, the girth of the lehenga, the floral embellishments all spell a lot of fun, romance, style and will enhance your complexion, your structure, your style very well. My advice is to go for this color which is really pretty, it's really gorgeous and actually suits any complexion and color type. Do not carry georgettes and chiffons because by the time you reach and open your wardrobe, it's a mess. And ironing is the biggest issue. 
Therefore, carry fabrics that do not need too much of ironing. Carry fabrics uh, and styles that uh, you can just put out there in the wardrobe, in the closet and wear it when you need to. I think that's the most important aspect of uh, carrying a wardrobe to a destination because otherwise you're, half your time is running around trying to get that outfit ironed. So if you're a guest at a wedding and you're attending a destination wedding and want to have fun, I think overtly embellished, overtly embroidered clothes are passe. Go in for a beautiful style, go in for a little bit of embroidery and yet look glamorous. Cuts like these, which are tiered, which are colourful, would work great for a Sangeet. For a wedding or a mehndi, you can do something like this, which is a fitted sharara with a crop top. Carry beautiful colours, carry beautiful cuts, dress them up with a lot of jewellery and you're good to go for that fantastic destination with wedding you're attending and have a lot of fun. I hope my advice and tips were helpful, to some extent at least, and if you've liked the video, please like, share, comment and subscribe to Pinkvilla.